Hello, welcome back. Wham, this is a candy? Never heard of Wham. I see raspberry flavor chew bar. Oh, it's a bar. Okay, okay. Which makes sense that I don't know this because the video is top 10 British sweets you can't get in America. You can't get here, especially far away in California. And I'm curious to see if I've ever seen this in the US, I'll let you know, or when I was over there. I've been to the UK three times now, different parts, and I'm curious to see if I have seen or had any of these and if I liked them. There was something that my family just loved and I cannot remember it. Hopefully it shows up on this list. Let me know what your favorite is and let's dive into it. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 British sweets you can't get in America. <laughs> that was a bit of a laugh, wasn't it? For this list, we'll be ranking the uniquely British treats that aren't often exported to the United States. We realize that some of these delicious treats do show up occasionally at specialty shops, but these homegrown traditions should be a challenge for most Americans to track down. Yep. Can you think of any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number hey, 10, Crunchy. Cracker Crunchy. Nope. The Champagne Bar. If there's one name that's synonymous with British chocolate, it's Cadbury. No, we're not talking about the Hershey produced stuff that's marketed as Cadbury in the States. We mean the real stuff. One of the better Cadbury bars has to be the Crunchy, a delicious mixture of chocolate and honeycomb that provides an addictive taste. That Friday feeling. You just can't keep it in. The Crunchy has also seen different variations on its recipe over the years, oh. with citrus flavoured varieties and even cheesecake concoctions being sold. You know, just because. Yeah. For many, wow. however, it's the OG Crunchy that serves as one of the best of British chocolate bars missing from American store shelves. Crunchy, enjoy the shattering honeycomb. No, I've never tried that. I've never heard of it, but I would love to try it. Number nine, Hobnobs. Now, Hobnob. we're not trying to say that the US doesn't enjoy eating a good biscuit now and then, but we Brits love our biscuits. Hobnobs are among the best out there as well. A traditional baked delight made from delicious oats. Oh, and did we mention there's milk chocolate and orange varieties too? Yeah. Hobnobs taste great with tea or coffee. The ultimate dunkable for that afternoon treat or evening snack. Some hip American stores have been known to stock Hobnobs, but this seems to be the exception rather than the rule. Still, we hope that more folks across the pond discover the taste power of these little biscuits. Sounds good. Nibble, can you hob -nobble? Number those sound really good. Biscuits or cookies here. I am all for that. On to Wham. No idea what this is, but it looks like a bar of some sort. Number eight, Wham bars. Wham. We've had some chocolate and we've had some crunch. How about a little chew? Wham bars are a uniquely UK treat that focuses its flavor profile, for the most part, on that sweet, sweet citrus. Pieces okay. of sherbet are enrobed in small chewy bars with strawberry, raspberry, and even cola varieties showing up on store shelves. Wham bars are definitely an acquired taste, and we can understand how the US might not be ready for the experience. Hopefully, that will change, because we think America is definitely missing out. Number seven. They look pretty good to me. I would uh, also try that. So far, I'll try everything on here. It's uh, down my alley. Galaxy Minstrels. There are a variety of chocolate buttons out there mm -hmm. for the discriminating British candy consumer. Galaxy Minstrels are a cut above, however. Mm. A tiny and portable confection that shares a lot of similarities with the classic M&M candies. After all, Galaxy Minstrels are basically just milk chocolate coated in a hard candy shell. Melt away for a moment with Galaxy Minstrels. We'd argue that these hit a wee bit different, however, perhaps thanks to the actual taste of the chocolate used within the minstrel. The Galaxy recipe is rich and complex, providing a more satisfying snack experience that we just love to call our role. Think chocolate, think one at a time, think Galaxy Minstrels. Number six, Aero Chocolate Bars. Aero Bars are another sweet that has made its way over to the United States, but for one reason or another, never seem to acquire the same sort of profile that they enjoy here in the UK. Aero. 
I have tried these. There's one. And I definitely do remember being at a co-op, I believe it was called when I was in London. I think it's called co-op. All bubble, no squeak. I like it. All bubble, no squeak. Perhaps it's due to the Airwolf's unique mouth feel, as its bubbly texture melts down with each bite. There's also the Airwolf bar's rich history as a classic UK candy, having been first introduced way back in 1935. Aero melts into pure chocolate pleasure. Have you felt the bubbles melt? Whatever the reason, we guarantee there's an Airwolf bar for everyone, whether you happen to be into chunky chocolate, chocolate mm. with mint, orange flavouring, or honeycomb, this one has got you covered. Nah, I think I'll just stick with me bubbly chocolate. I like the bubbly chocolate as well. I think I had the one with mint inside. I love mint chip ice cream, for example. And chocolate in the UK compared to the US, I may have done a video on it, but it's, it's way different. The US and probably most other countries in general, it's pretty fake here, I guess I would say, compared to the, what was it, cacao that is required to be considered chocolate. Other places of the world, especially in Europe, it's very, very low here in the US, much higher. So even... Kit Kat bars are very popular here in the US and I would guess they're in the UK as well, but they taste a lot better over there because it's more real. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Number five, Smarties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the story of Smarties is similar to that of Cadbury in that the version of the candy we have here in the UK is much different than what's sold in the United States. Oh. The Smarties recipe over there is a pleasantly chalky fruit flavoured candy with chocolate never coming into the picture. British Smarties yep. are much different, tiny chocolate pieces with a brightly coloured candy shell. This oh. may come as a surprise to the uninitiated as UK Smarties almost look like Skittles, only with a delicious chocolate centre. We think that a Smarties swap is in order. Let's see how the other half lives. So this looks like an M&M. Are these like M&Ms? Just taste better or different or some other kind of chocolate? That's so crazy that I was going to say Smarties. Yeah, that's a very popular candy here in the US, but it's completely different. It's all just fruity here. No chocolate. What they said in the video is very true. It would be all weirded out if Smarties came with chocolate in them. Only Smarties have the answer. Number four, Kit Kat Chunky. When I'm on a break Ooh. and a chocolate craving hits, nothing beats a chunky. Fact, everyone loves Kit Kats. Yeah. But did you know that these classic chocolate wafer candies are a UK original? It's true. No. Kit Kats are developed and distributed around the world by Nestle and Hershey, but they were originally by the York Candy Company, Roundtree. Oh. We're particularly fond of the Kit Kat Chunky, a beastly bar that, as of yet, still hasn't made strong headway into the US shores. And we can sort of see why, since these fancier Kit Kats eat more like a meal than a snack, huh. with heavy duty variations like caramel and peanut butter. Honestly, because it's heavy duty, seems like it would do well, very well, in the US. But that, it looks good to me. I'd try it, I'd try it. I'd probably have it. I like Kit Kats. I'm getting a hankering for chocolate. But uh, giving us the best kind of tummy ache. Two words, worth it. Have a big break. Have a new Kit Kat Chunky. Number three, Maltesers. Okay, so we can't ignore the proverbial elephant in the room by not mentioning the fact that Maltesers were originally intended as a sort of diet chocolate snack for women that were watching their figure. Sexism aside, we'd argue that Maltesers are there for everyone. A malted milk chocolate ball that makes for a perfect cinema snack. Their bite-sized shape makes it easy to snack on a couple or a couple handfuls, whilst the Malteser flavor profile right. is just a wee bit lighter than your average candy. But hey, we think that that just makes it easier to eat more, right? Better? Yeah, much better, much better. Number two, wine gums. Some sweets on this list seem tailor-made for the export market, while others, well, let's just say we can sort of see why they haven't caught on abroad. It's all in a Goodness. name for the wine gums. A curious moniker. Wine gums. I'm assuming, you know, a very straightforward guess of that they taste like different wines, which I'd be down to try. I do like my wine. Yeah, for what's otherwise a kicked up jellyful bean. There's no actual alcohol in a wine gum with the overall flavor profile being a variety of fruit flavors that possess oh, a goody okay. gumdrop taste. Oh. There are a number of different brands of wine gums, but the recipe is relatively simple. Sugar, gelatin, citric acid, and your favorite fruit flavor. 
Any way you slice it, they're delicious. Set the juice loose! So they're not wine flavored. They're just uh, different citrus fruit flavor. Okay, interesting, interesting. They would have to change the name here in the US if it were to uh, take off. Before we name our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Fruit pastels, a childhood classic. Our quest continues. Brown cheese fruit pastels with real fruit flavor. You can't help but chew. Flake bars, does what it says on the tin. Tasty and flaky. Cadbury's flake, the crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate in the world. Penguin bars, chocolate, biscuit and cream. Yes, please. Pick up, pick up a new more chocolate penguin. Number one. Jaffa Cakes. Jaffa Jaffa. No, Jaffa no. Jaffa Jaffa. The United States may not be up to date on Jaffa Cakes, but we say give it time, it'll happen. Because why wouldn't you want to get down with such a perfect combination of tastes and flavours? You want sponge cake? We got your sponge cake right here. Jam, you say? Jaffa Cakes have that too. And you just gotta have chocolate, right? It's the holy trinity of snacking sweet deliciousness. A heavenly combo that can be enjoyed with tea, coffee, or right out of the box. For that reason, I am in. McVitie's Jaffa Cakes, deliciously self-centered. Although orange jam flavoring is preferred, Jaffa Cakes have also been sold in other flavors as well, from strawberry and lemon and lime to blackcurrant. Yum, we think we might actually go enjoy a few right now. Mm. McVitie's Jaffa Cakes, the zesty mischief of McVitie's. Yes, do you agree with their picks? And I always like to hear what your favorite is, what's popular there. I believe I've only had one sweet on this entire list and the rest of them I don't think I've heard of before. Well, maybe one, but the rest I have not. So I'd like to hear your view on it. What's your favorite? either now or when you're growing up because we all will have a favorite on this list. So thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Thanks for making it to the end and uh, hope to see you next video. Have a good, tasty, sweet rest of your day.